Absolutely gutted. Absolutely gutted. England lose again their second Euros final in a row. And oh, look, I just feel bad for everybody that wanted England to win. That's absolutely gutting. I mean, how many times in history has a team lost two Euros finals in a row? That has to be the end of Southgate. We've got to get real about nepotism, favouritism, politicalness or whatever you want to call it because we have got an amazing selection of players. I said at Christmas that we should win this Euros despite Southgate. Not because of him. He is a bad coach with bad tactics. I'm going to go through some home truths here. You're going to get some comments in. But for the love of God, please do not keep this guy for the next two years because if we do, I ain't watching England anymore. It's a fucking waste of time. There's no point in doing it. This is competitive sport. It's not school sports day where everybody gets a chance. This is competitive sport. Get rid of the guy who picks favourites. This has been a shit show from start to finish. If we'd scammed the tournament, we'd all have been happy. But we were always right. The football was shit. The tactics were shit. The selections were shit. And for some reason, we made big mistakes all the way through. And none more so than bringing Cole Palmer and Ollie Watkins on getting back to 1-1 and then going defensive again and letting Spain win it. Ha the misuse of these players is incredible. We have got world-class players. We have got a world-class squad. If you look at that Spain squad and you look at the England squad, if you look at that Spain starting 11 and you look at the England starting 11, ours is better on paper. But if you haven't got a good coach, you may as well be Luxembourg because that is the lesson. The FA are as culpable as Southgate. It needs calling out. I have never known a team get to a final of a major tournament and not have a good relationship with its fan base. That has been bred by the FA and Southgate and the players themselves need to take a long, hard look at themselves. Living in England, talking to people in England, I have never known people go, I'm not that excited. I'm not putting the flags up. I'm not listening to Three Lions. I'm not listening to World in Motion. They're not exciting. And yet, all we've had all tournament is this siege mentality of picking the same players and it's us against the world and a terrible relationship with your actual fans is, is disgusting. It's disgusting. The nepotism is disgusting. The, the constant selection of the wrong players is disgusting. Um, we've, we were on the easiest side of the draw by a long way. A long, long way. And the fraud act has been completely exposed. He still picks Harry Kane in the final, who clearly isn't fit. We wasted 60 minutes with Harry Kane, again, in a final against a good team. Like, look, I, I don't... I, the only people I feel sorry for is you, the fans. That, that's all I feel sorry for. Um, I'm fed up of the mainstream. I'm fed up of the coverage on BBC and ITV. Cowards. I'm fed up of, you know, this this mythical mystery tour that we're on. We we There is not a positive from going to two finals and losing them. We're, we've been to two finals because we've got good players. We've had bad coaches. We've been coached badly. The Italy game was easier than the Spain game. We should have won that because we were, we were at home. Um, but this has been a reality. We should have gone out against Slovakia. If we'd have gone out against Slovakia, no one would have been surprised. The fact that we scammed our way to the final with 40 seconds to go against Slovakia, with penalties against Switzerland, with a, with a semi-final last-minute winner against Netherlands and got absolutely played off the park. I mean, I'm looking at Jordan Pickford crying. He was man of the match. He was man of the match at 1-1. What are we crying about? Like, seriously, lads, if I was the coach, I'd take them in there and say, I don't know what you're crying about. We played shit. And it's my fault. As a coach, you were shit. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to coach you. We're actually, you know, like Spain are coached and they play good football. We're going to do that because we've got players. You give Spain, coach, our team, we'd be winning the Euros. It's as simple as that. Why won't people talk about this? Why, why, why are we wasting this set of players? Two finals, two losses is a fucking joke. The World Cup quarterfinal against France was a fucking joke. We are wasting an opportunity. I don't know how any England fan, any, any England player can be sat there looking at that tournament bewildered. They're either really thick or they're doing it for the cameras. You know you didn't deserve it. You know you've been shit throughout the tournament. And yet you have come out for months going, we love Gareth. 
We love Gareth. We're fighting for Gareth. We love Gareth. Well, I tell you what, lads. Loving Gareth gets you to there. Humiliated in another final. If the players themselves have put themselves in this situation. This mythical cult that you're all part of, where us against the world, fucking stupid, lads. Terry Venables didn't do it. Sven didn't do it. And Bobby Robson didn't do it. Do not alienate your own fans to go into some silly little siege mentality with Southgate. Because I tell you what, it's a fucking joke. Nepotism. People like Anthony Gordon, I don't think they've played a minute. Trent Alexander-Arnold, one of the best right-backs in the world, not playing. The nepotism's a bloody joke. The press need to remove their head from Southgate's arse and start saying it how it is. The media do as well. The fans deserve better. The players don't realise they deserve better. It's a fucking joke. We need a proper coach who coaches football because these players are capable of winning the World Cup. And I will get behind this England team if we bring a proper fucking coach in because we can win the World Cup. But we've got to go into the World Cup playing like fucking Spain, not like Stoke. And can, for the love of God, can somebody in the comments please explain to me why in 2024... We're knocking our, goal, our, our centre kicks back to the goalkeeper to blast it. And why our goalkeeper is taking goal kicks and blasting it. And why our goalkeeper has kicked the ball longer than Tom Brady did in his entire NFL career. What the fuck is that? It's like going back to the 80s. I feel like I'm Michael J. Fox driving around in a fucking DeLorean. Why is our goalkeeper kicking the ball 50 yards 20 times a game? What the fuck is that about? It's weird. It's like going on a fucking time trip. Nobody does that. And we don't even win the long ball. What the fuck is that? Why is Gary Neville or bloody Roy Keane not talking about that? It's weird. Why are we kicking the ball long? Why is nobody talking about it? Why are we sitting there going, well, he won't drop Harry Kane. We've just lost a fucking final. We've lost the fucking final with a guy who can't run. And when you bring Ollie Watkins on and their defence drops. That last 20 minutes, we had a chance. We had a bloody chance. At 1-0, we had a chance. We had them on the ropes a bit. And then we equalise and we sit back again. It's, it, 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 it's crazy. And, and, and can I just finish it off with this? Mic drop. Harry Kane does not suit a team... That's got Phil Foden, Jude Bellingham and Saka in it. It doesn't suit it. If you want to play Harry Kane, you play two midfielders and two wide wingers who are quick. Because Harry Kane's going to drop in. You don't play two number 10s. And you don't put Jude Bellingham on the wing. Nepotism. I hope these players go on holiday and listen to this sort of stuff. And I hope the media pick it up and use it. Because there is no sympathy... There is no open bus top tour. We were shit through the tournament and your weird cult of sympathy and please like us when you were shit. This is what happens. You ran out of luck. You ran out of luck. Shit, lads. Absolute shit. Get a new manager in. Get coached properly and stop living under the comfort blanket of, oh, we love playing with the inflatables in the pool. Rubbish. Winners win. It doesn't matter what you think about your manager. Managers win with good tactics. They don't win with bedtime stories. Thanks for watching. Smash a like on the video. Get your comments in below.